One of my favorite and one of our most popular bunkhouses, the Coachman Freedom Express 310, here in Liberty Edition with Premier Package. This is two levels of upgrade above and beyond the base model. I guess kind of three if you consider the 31 SE as the starter point. Anyway, so this represents both uh, Coachman's top level trailer and lightweight. Comes in 7,200 and what, 35, 65 pounds, 72 and change. So potentially, comfortably half ton towable. And that's the thing is that this is going to have the features of a lot of these really big heavy travel trailers, but in an ultralight shell that is gonna save you about 10 to 20% of the weight uh, of a lot of those other ones there. And as I go through, I'll explain how they've accomplished that and it is not by reducing structure, thankfully. If at any point you're curious to know exactly what we have equipped on this and how much we're asking for, I leave you a link in the video description. It says check for price and availability. That'll whisk you away through the internet to show you exactly what we have and what we're asking for. Smarter things like this are being copycatted through the industry and Freedom Express is really quickly becoming a very copycatted product out there. Um, things like the little indoor outdoor table that you're seeing here that comes with this. You can thank Freedom Express for that. Other brands are copying that left and right. They've been doing this for years. The big full pass-through LED lighting storage, that's awesome. And ultralight with giant front pass-through storage, that's something that's getting copied left and right. Um, the uh, A lot of brands now, uh, your nicer brands anyway, have switched over to um, your magnetic latch baggage doors. Each of these costs a couple cents more than the standard little uh, plastic flip latch thing. But one hand operational and just set it, forget it, done son. That's exactly how it works right there. Um, Liberty Edition gives us the big full nose cap up front. Uh, the uh, Most of what you see on the outside, the upgrades are going to be part of the Liberty Edition. Most of the interior stuff is a combination of Liberty and Premier package upgrades. Power awning, power tongue jack. We typically do not put power stabilizers on these because amazingly, they don't hold as much weight as standard manual stabilizer jacks in the travel trailer world. Long story short, people are just not willing to spend the money for good uh, leveling jacks, uh, stabilizer jacks in the travel trailer business like they are in one of these big giant monsters over here. And that's, that's a totally different critter, obviously. It's only, you know, triple the price and all that. Beautiful, but you know, different. Uh, enclosed, forced air heated, uh, underbelly. So you're gonna have good extended season use on this guy. Oh, neat little detail. They uh, put on a tongue mounted spare tire to leave the rear bumper open because you got kids. I mean, I figure you're looking at the bunkhouses here because you got kids, that's, you know, logical. Uh, the kids, kids got bikes, you know? You like the kids to have bikes so they go out and wear themselves out and they don't drive you nuts. Well, they leave the rear bumper open on a Freedom Express by tongue mounting that spare uh, to give you room for a bike rack where a lot of brands don't. Seal gripping slide walls with double wiper seals. So you've always got extra points of contact in, uh, in touch with this slide at any given point uh, to give you just to, to eliminate all reasonable potential for any sort of leaks around your slides there. Um, windows are UV tinted and that keeps the RV obviously more private but also cooler because you're not turning your RV into a greenhouse. You knock down like 80% of that chance there. Uh, black tank flush outside utility shower. Not going to spend a lot of time talking about those. Those are virtually standard in the industry at this point. Not exactly. So I, uh, I don't want to tell you that they are necessarily standard. How you doing folks? The, oh, you're fine. You're fine. They're kids. It's camping. Don't worry about it. Um, the uh, Actually, they're going to like this one. This has a rock wall they can climb up in the bunkhouse in here. You folks at home will see that in a second. So full outside kitchen out here. And I stress full size because there are some low profile outside kitchens. Each has its own advantage. Everything in this business is a push and a pull. So a bigger outside kitchen gives us a bigger fridge, more space, like we could put a TV up here. And I like how they actually brought their refrigerator down so the kids can get to it. Now, another neat thing is the u wrap wraparound drawer. It's got a purpose-built drawer in here to hold all your uh, cutlery uh, so that you've got a perfect place to put it. And when it's serving time, you can literally just take the tray with you and set it down wherever you want. When you're done, bring it back, slide it in, all done. Um, inside and out, all countertops are sealed press membranes so that water can't penetrate in those. Now outside here, you're going to get a lot of humidity in the outside kitchen if you're using this in the morning or in the evening. And I can tell you from personal experience, if, if there's an outside kitchen present and it's nighttime, everybody is by that thing. The, there's the patio lights running and stuff, but this is where you spend your time because the party always ends in the kitchen. Everybody knows that. Um, your grill here, this is a high output Coleman cooktop. 
in English, it takes a 25 mile an hour gust to put this out, not a five mile an hour happy birthday blow out the candles breeze. And it's free floating. Uh, so again, you can take this thing to your buddy's campsite. You can have a big old tailgater session. You can have a great time. Now, uh, mom and dad uh, are gonna love the fact that this has a direct bathroom entry door. The kids won't care because the kids just like camping. And you're looking at this going, I've never had a camper. I don't know why I want a door to my bathroom. And if you've never had a camper, let me tell you, because the kids have to come in and out of this trailer to use a potty 10 times a day. Now, if you're worried about privacy, remember guys, we do have a deadbolt here. So it's not like someone's gonna run in on you. If, I mean, you, you can lock the door. They're gonna have to be a bear to get through that thing. Now, this is a cool little spot. So first of all, wide stance stability axles. That helps keep the trailer from bouncing down the road so much. Had a delivery driver this morning tow one of these in go oh my gosh ever since he changed these axles this thing tows so much better that's a professional driver who hauls trailers for a living saying that i'll take his word for it for certain also this handy little utility drawer most freedom express models if you add that little grill which is standard in the outside kitchen this is where it would be it slides in and out under the refrigerator however since this already has an outside grill you don't need two so they gave you an awesome drawer because more storage is never the wrong answer what this does for you gives you the perfect place to keep um, bug spray and sunscreen or a deck of cards or the oh oh your uh, your clips for your um, picnic table covers that's perfect to go in here I never thought of that until just now so there's a lot of good stuff you can do with this and again it just slides right out of the way when you're done with it bigger entry handle we've got LED lights under the awning we've got everything under the sun you could imagine in this class it's absolutely awesome now I told you they would they, they save weight without reducing structure. This is part of the reason how. Asdell walls, that's the white part of the wall here in the, in the Asdell. Under the fiberglass skin, there's instead of Luon, it's called Asdell. It's melted pop bottles, mostly. Um, can't rot, mold, mildew, lighter, better insulation. It's, it's fantastic stuff. It's not the least expensive component. Remember, everything's a push and a pull. It is awesome though. It's, it's some of the best stuff that there is. Right when you walk in the door, boom, all the lights are on one switch. And they uh, recently here added a lot of lights to really brighten it up in here. My battery box is starting to fade, so it should be a little brighter than it is. My apologies for that. I've had 12 new arrivals today. There are not enough battery boxes in the world to keep up with that. This is called the Java Decor, which is my personal favorite because it looks like dinosaur skin, buddy. And I'm a little boy at heart. I still like watching cartoons, and I like dinosaurs. I'm not gonna. I'm not ashamed to admit it. So, uh, if you like everything in this except just those fabrics, if you don't like the dino skin, don't worry. They make other interiors, and chances are we got one or two of them in stock. A class-defining feature: ultralights. A lot of times, save weight by having lower interior heights and thinner slides. That is the whole thing with Freedom Express. They were the ones who said, "Forget all that. Forget it. We're gonna make." Full super slides. We're gonna make this thing extra tall. This is six nine tall, taller interiors, guys. This means it has more living space. It has a taller shower, taller cabinets, taller bunks, taller ceiling, taller slide out. All that stuff makes a big difference and it makes it feel so much bigger in here. Yet, it's still only 7,260, what, five pounds. There could be lighter trailers on the market as a result, but they can't have some of the features this has as a result too. So. We also have a longer super slide, 14 foot 2 inches. Instead of a hide a bed sofa or a U dinette, you get a hide a bed sofa and a U dinette in here. And is better than or every day of the week in the RV business. Um, the table is freestanding. It's got an elliptical base, so that can fold down into a sleeper. Fold it into a coffee table, move it over here, or kick it outside. Although it does come with a picnic table, you probably won't have to do that. Full storage under the dinette. You see that it's easy to get to. There's even sliding panels to get to the back. And this drawer could not be simpler. The whole darn thing pulls right out and it's all plywood constructed. It's gonna be able to hold some serious weight. Absolutely fantastic. People go nuts over that clock. Don't know why. Um, the, uh, you know, Central Air, keep your family comfortable. Premier edition upgrades us to an eight cubic foot refrigerator freezer, 33% bigger fridge. Liberty Edition gives us a solid surface countertops here, and you have a stainless, a hot waterproof sink. So if you're boiling water, you can pour it in here and it won't melt your sink all up. This has a bigger countertop and more kitchen storage space, but you're looking at it like, nah, -uh, I've seen this show before, buddy. I, I already know that uh, all these countertops are the same. Wrong. If you look over here, you can look behind the stove. The stoves in this business are all the same size. They're standardized for production reasons. 
There's a foot behind this thing. You usually don't get a foot behind that thing. That is your appliance shelf, and that is why they have appliance outlets right there. This is awesome. This slots into place, by the way. This food grade cutting board, this like butcher's block looking cutting board here. So it's not gonna bounce around in transit. It gives you good counter space you can actually use and abuse. Um, you can use it like a serving tray, take it inside, outside. It looks like something you'd have sushi rolls on, but usually sushi and camping don't go together. And I think that's fine, personally. Um, great storage in the kitchen as well. Uh, we've got, you know, extra fork, spoons, knife space, another utensil wraparound sink drawer. When it, It's perfect because it goes around. It's the best use of storage under a sink of anybody in the RV business, period. That's a bold statement to make because, wow, there's a lot of guys that build campers. Uh, but nobody else does that. Uh, and I mean, it's just absolutely awesome. I wish, I wish more brands did that, but they don't. I, I gotta believe Coachman has some kind of wicked cool patent on it. Sweet pantry next to your 33% bigger refrigerator. Cause you can sleep, I don't know, eight, nine, maybe 10 people in here. You gotta feed them. You can do that in this RV. Um, right across from the bathroom, we have either a big hanging closet. It's it's centralized, so it's between the bunkhouse, the bathroom, the kitchen. You can make it uh, linen storage. You can make it a closet. You could make it pantry space. Anything you want. Porcelain. You can hear the difference. Foot flush. Again, waterproof. Not gonna mold up on you if it gets wet. Um, taller shower. Remember, taller interior means taller shower. Even with a hat on, you can take a look at this good-looking mug inside the shower, and I'm not ducking. Uh, you don't have to duck in here. I love the bigger paddle switches. It's just easier to... When I walk in at night, I'm just like... Until I finally hit the light. That's that's what I do. I, I probably wake everybody up. I really don't know how my wife tolerates me. Man, I'm obnoxious. Anyway, um, we've got a pocket privacy door that I can't get my fingers on. Here we go. So, And it's all bracketed in place so the kids can't rip it off the wall. And this uh, Coachman's mascot is Spot the Dalmatian. That's... Spot the Dalmatians print right there on these little convertible, um, you know, cube bunks right here. Converted cubes, I call them. Cute, huh? <laughs> anyway, so this just ties in with the, the old school Coachman feel in this really space age new ultralight. Now this is a, uh, a flip up down bunk and it's even on easy lift struts. I've only got one arm and you can see it does everything on its own. And there's extra lights I don't have turned on in here that even with my failing battery you don't need. This is above the outside kitchen over here. This is a big kid bunk. It's about 50% wider. Now, if your kid's a climber, they're gonna love this. This has the kitty climber wall over here. And this is absolutely cool. This is, I've never seen anything, anybody do something like that. It's just different, it's fun, it just screams kids. And again, that is my favorite part of Freedom Expresses is that they're one of the most highly appointed RVs for the final end user of anything I've ever seen on the market. And I think it's because they actually go camping at Coachman. Everyone I talk to down there, it's like, yeah, I got this camper, I got that. They all go camping. Um, you know, so they understand what people are looking for when they go camping. Like a trifold memory foam hide to bed sleeper sofa over here. And there's a little bonus storage pocket below it for linens in case you have tons of guests. So two, four, uh, let's see, six, seven, eight, nine, ten in the master bed. Yeah, it's a ten. This is a legit ten sleeper, guys. Uh, we looked at the kitchen already. I kind of jumped out of order, but there was a lot of stuff to talk about. Let's look at entertainment center. Just like the rear bunkhouse, mom and dad, or grandpa and grandma, or aunt and uncle, I don't care who you are, you've all got your same sliding pocket privacy doors here. And with a little pull of grenade pin, clear! The uh, TV can spin around. I don't want to flip it too hard because the other door is not open. My point is, though, that one TV can service uh, the living room and the bedroom areas. And we've got an all-in-one entertainment system, AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth. We've got this awesome, sleek um, electric space heating fireplace right here. Uh, it provides a lot of supplemental heat to the RV without burning up all your propane. And... You know what? We've all got these in our pockets, and chances are the kids do too. They give you the perfect place to charge all that with a little built-in charging station here. Um, whipping around the corner, something I hear a lot is people say, I don't want the bed to be right up next to the uh, entertainment center. Well, first of all, it's close, but it's not directly touching. But secondly, most of the time people are saying that because most RVs have a shorter 74-inch camper queen, not an 80-inch residential length true queen like we see in a Freedom Express. Standard. You don't have to pay extra for that. You just get it. So y your feet aren't going to hang off of this bed. Chances, unless you're exceptionally tall. And then frankly, you're just used to things not fitting you. <laughs> 
Um, these are also really cool dual element lights. So you've got a nice bright white here, obviously, but if you just tap it, it glows blue. And that will make white pages glow at night. And if you hold it, we got that nice bright white light again. And uh, bedside stands for charging. Oh my gosh, it's 15 minutes. I've been yakking on this thing for, you know, a quarter of an hour here. That's, folks, this is 15 minutes and 10 seconds of your life you're never going to get back. But I hope you feel it was well spent. And if you do, then please allow us the opportunity to earn your business. It takes a lot of time and effort to do what we do here. Um, you know, we're not a buy it and fly it place. We service what we sell and everything else too. That's why we have a full service center for hitching, pieces, parts. We do trades, we do financing, we do trucks for package deals. We can deliver this thing straight to your campsite if you don't intend to tow it, put it right in your driveway. And I don't care where you live because whether we ship it to you or it's shipped to a local dealer, it still ships, so that doesn't matter. Um, the only thing you have to lose by not calling us and giving us a chance to put a quote together is a lot of money. So, you know, take the chance and give us a call. <laughs> you, again, have nothing to lose but a lot of money. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone. Have a great day.